Hello everyone, I am supposed to be a blessing. Today is October the 22nd, 2021. All right now, it's for, um, yeah, Scorpio, Cancers, and Pisces. If you're new here, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment, and we're going to get into your messages for today. Let's see, you guys. Okay, so you have the Queen of Swords, and the Knight of Swords, and the Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. So let's see what those are saying to you guys. I feel like some of you may be telling somebody right the fuck off, telling them where they can go and where they can get off it. I do see an air sign that could be coming towards you. You do have air in your chart. You've definitely been in deep thought in regard to some things that are taking place in your life. Some things you don't really like. I feel like I feel like you have plenty of offers that's definitely going to be coming your way, so you're going to have to choose wisely um, when it comes to that using your intuition. Uh, you do want emotional fulfillment and inhabitants, and that's what you've been working toward. There's a Leo Sagittarius that definitely could be interested in you. Um, mm, nine of Swords. Lots of things on your mind. Not sleeping at night, feeling some type of way in regard to some things. There's some things that need to be worked out here. There's some healing that needs to take place. I also see here love. Definitely could be on your mind here. Because you see the Ace of Cups and then the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords, you deep in thought in regard to love is what I'm seeing. Some of you feel like you missed out on an opportunity in regard to some love with somebody too. Um, mm hmm I feel like you had to move on from a situation, even though it caused you a lot of heartache and pain, even though you wanted to be with them, the, the sex was great and all of that. Yeah. With the Ace of Swords, it's like you had a lot of clarity and truth that's going to be coming your way. I do see here, um, you're getting a victory in regard to some things and a lot of celebrations is coming in too. Reminiscing about the past or reminiscing about somebody from your past or somebody from your past is coming back toward you. Could be a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces coming in. Could be somebody's night in shining armor, or, so to say. A water sign is coming in. This could be your best friend. This person is very intuitive. They could be your best friend. They understand you. They get you. You're going to have to make some head of our decision regarding to someone or some thing here because I feel like there's a lot of gossip going on not in a good way this is bad gossip you have to defend yourself against others and some of y'all are getting pretty tired of the bullshit see right here the seven of swords and the seven of wands you defend yourself against gossip bullshit somebody want to steal something from somebody running their mouth don't know what the fuck they talking about you know you're getting kind of tired of this situation the Ten of Swords is here. There's a lot of things weighing on your mind. There's an ending card without endings coming to the beginning. Some you could be dealing with the Aries um, individual. Just standing your ground and trust and believe in yourself. But so sometimes you may feel like you're trapped. Like you don't know what to do in regard to something. You have the extra spirits for the help that you need. You definitely will get it. There are some secrets here. Some things that are hidden. I don't know if you got the secrets or somebody else you're dealing with. Could have some secrets that could definitely hurt the other person. But anything that's done in the dark would definitely come to the light. Your creativity is high. Your sexual energy is high, of course. Um, there is a partnership. Mm -hmm. Hand in hand with somebody. This could be your new boo thing. It could be uh, somebody from the past that you've dealt with that's coming back into your life. Y'all going to rekindle this. And it's going to be a good thing. I also see um, you working hand in hand with somebody. But whatever it is, there's happiness here. Happiness is in store. Let's keep it moving. Hmm. Somebody's in their emotions, though. Somebody's feeling some type of way. Maybe you're feeling some type of way. Maybe something ain't working out the way you thought it could be. There's an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy here. Now, that energy could be you if you have that in your chart. But if now you have an earth sign that could be coming towards you. Somebody feels like they're definitely in half. They, they undecided. So it's like, you know, what should I do? There's a lot of confusion here is what I'm seeing. Getting to yourself to analyze the people, places, and things in your life will um, definitely give you the answers that you need. I feel like there's a lot of temptation here. Be careful of that. If you're overindulging in some things, you know, you got to get a grip on that. Um, I do feel a stalkerish vibe going on. And I also see here, you have some wishes that are going to be fulfilled. Anything you're hoping and wishing for could definitely come to fruition. And then you have um, blessings coming in as two. Be careful what you wish for, because you just definitely may get it. 9 and 9 is 18, 11, and then when you add 1 and 8, that makes a 9. So that's 3, 9. So you may be seeing sequences of numbers, whether it's 3, 3, 3, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, definitely 9, 9, 9. 
which is a great number, a really great number. Fire sign, your creativity is high here. It could be a Leo Sagittarius coming in, but I feel like your creativity is high. And you have a lot of competition surrounding you in regard to your job. Sometimes you may feel stuck, like you're not moving fast enough in regard to some things, but things will definitely work out for you. Just keep, you know, hit things head on and keep it moving. Don't let nobody stop your flow. I feel like you're working on your energy and that's a great thing, you know. Keep yourself um, in a great place. Mm. Somebody's dealing with heartache and pain, though, in regard to a lover's relationship. So somebody may get their heart broken, you know. You may be disappointed in the person that you love, you know. How could they do that to you? How could they make you feel this way? Why did you cheat? Or I feel that going on, too. But um, you're going to work through that. Using your intuition is going to get you through it, along with your spirits and your guides. I also see here, then you're going to be at a crossroads. You're going to have to decide which way you want to go. Definitely huge decisions being made with the two of pinnacles. So you can weigh your options. Is it better for me to do this or should I do that? Yeah. Hmm. Love it. Some of you could have gone through a tower experience, but that's a life lesson. Everything is okay. You will win. There's, like I said, there's some healing. This is the Aquarius card that needs to take place in regard to some. In order to begin anything new, you got to deal with the pain and hurt that is there. If y'all got hurt in, in regard to something that happened to you when you're little, you haven't dealt with it yet, it's going to keep coming up in issues. Even if you're grown, that little girl, little boy is still in there, and they haven't grown up yet, and they haven't dealt with that problem. So as even as an adult, they tend to jump out every now and then, if you pay attention to what I'm saying. Whether it's emotional outbursts or something like that, or you just a song could come on, or somebody could do something that this person did to you that hurt you, and you're like... See, this is what I'm saying. You know, same shit over and over again. Different person, same thing. Um, Yeah, you need to work out some things. I see like you're going to be birthing out some new exciting things. You want stability and you want happiness, but you have to keep going. I mean, it's your world. You make it to be what you want it to be. Your ships is definitely coming in on the rise in Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And I know that it's been a long, hard road for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing you. No matter what, stand in your strength and trust and believe in yourself that things are going to work out for you. Let whatever has to end, let it end so that something new can be birthed within you. You're changing daily. You're supposed to learn something new every day. Plant seeds and pop a soil and ground so that you can have financial growth. Even if you're feeling like you're left out in the cold in regards to like some of y'all feel like you don't belong or something is not right with you. But in actuality, it's just something that needs to be worked out within you. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Plant seeds here. Look at that, money. You're going to be gifted some money here. I feel like you're very guarded at this time. But it's okay because, look, you have financial blessing coming in. Just keep working and keep working hard. That's what you're doing. You're honing your you're crafting your skill. Keep manifesting the things that you want because there's a lot of ideas that's going to be coming up. Make sure that you're writing your visions and making it plain. If you write it down on paper, you see it, you can manifest it and make it come to earth, okay? With that being said, I am supposed to be a blessing. If you like your own personal reading, call me at 347 Until next time, Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Y'all have a truly blessed day.